Hello, in this tutorial I'll be showing you I can easily learn and understand screen retouching using frequency separation from the start to the very end in just 10 minutes. So simply pay a 10 minutes of your time to understand how to edit faster when it comes to screen retouching in Photoshop. Even if you're a beginner, this tutorial is going to be beneficial to you. So simply hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. So in order to use frequency separation, you're going to come and import the photo to Photoshop and simply Press Ctrl J or you can use Command J on the keyboard to create two layers. Double click on this layer and name it to low frequency. And you can name the up layer to high frequency. So the low frequency layer contains the colors and high frequency layer contains the textures. So just come right here. Okay. Just come to the low frequency layer and select it. And hide the high frequency layer. Then come to filter and come to blur and come to Gaussian blur. Take the radius slider all the way down. Click on an area that has more textures on the skin. Left click on the radius slider and start taking up the radius up to a point whereby the textures are just starting to disappear from the image. So depending on the image you're working on, this is going to be different or you're going to be using a different radius because your photo may be having different levels of details. And after doing that, click OK. Remember I have stopped at the point whereby the details or the textures are just starting to disappear from the image. Just come and click OK. Select the high frequency layer now activate it. Then come to image right here and come to apply image. So you can say this is a 16 bit image. So just come. The layer is the source is the name of the image. The layer select low frequency layer because we just want to extract the textures from this middle layer. So select that middle layer and the channel has to be RGB. The blending is add. Turn on the invert option. And the scale has to be to an offset zero. Make sure preserve transparency and mask cannot check and simply click OK. So if at all you're dealing with an 8-bit image, the invert option shouldn't be turned on. The blend mode for an 8-bit image has to be subtract. The scale is 2 and offset 128 and the rest are going to remain the same. So for my case, I'll just change mine to 16-bit settings, invert, scale is 2, offset 0. And I'll click OK. So I'll just come this blend mode and change it from normal and change it all the way down to linear light. And after doing that, select both layers and press Ctrl G or you can use Command G on the keyboard. Put this tree in a group. Open up this group by clicking on the drop down arrow. Hide the high frequency layer and select the low frequency layer. Then you're going to come to the brushes. Right click and get the mixer brush tool. And if at all your mixer brush tool is not displaying under the brushes, you can locate the mixer brush tool down here. So after selecting the mixer brush tool, make sure you come and make sure the hardness is set to 0%. Make sure clean brush is selected. So click here and select clean brush. Then we have two options right here. Load brush after each and F stroke and also clean the brush after each and F stroke. So select the second option which is clean brush after each and F stroke. The weight is 9%. Load 75 mix at 90 and the flow of 100 percent then make sure sample all layers is not turned on and after doing that we just want to paint on the skin and before painting if at all your brush is showing a plus icon press the caps lock key on the keyboard then to increase or decrease on the size of the brush you can use the box brackets the right box bracket and the right left box brackets on the keyboard to increase or decrease on the size of the brush. So to apply the mixer brush tool, we simply left click and hold down. So don't zoom all the way in, retouch at a distance because when you do this, you won't be seeing the uneven skin tone transitions. So always retouch at a distance. And after doing that, left click and hold down. So you left click and hold down and you mix a given color just like that. So left click and hold down just like that and paint. So also left click and hold down and paint this dark color on this side of the head. Then left click and hold down and blend the, the highlights right there. And where these colors are transitioning from one color to another, use a small brush to blend the transition uh, between those colors. So that is what we are going to be doing for the rest of the image. And if at all you're benefiting, simply like this video because it helps you YouTube push and recommend this video 
to many people out there. So just come and paint just like that. Paint right here like that. And also paint, reduce on the size and also paint on the chin area just like that. Just continue painting on the skin area just like that. So we are basically following the direction of the way the given parts of the body are shaped to keep and maintain the original facial structures or skin details. We don't want to change or distort the model's face. So just come and paint just like that. So just take your time as you're trying to paint and blend. So just want to paint and blend each and every area that has or contains skin tones. And you can notice as you're doing this, the skin tends to look a little bit plastic. But the reason for it looking plastic is because we are now working on the colors and we don't want to be distracted by the textures on the model skin. So just take your time as you're trying to paint. Reduce on the size if at all you're working on a small area. And blend just like that. Come to the chest area and also paint just like that and blend the transitions. So we left click and hold down and paint. Then paint on a new area, we release the left click button and paint once again just like that. So just take your time as you're trying to retouch the skin and blend the transitions between the skin tones. I'm just going to come and paint just like that. So take your time as you're trying to paint on the skin so that you can have good results at the end of it all. So I'm just going to come and continue painting just like this. So to see what I've done, turn on the texture or the high frequency layer and you can see what we have right now. So you can see the before, after, before, after. We have still maintained the original skin details. So to remove pimples or blemishes, we simply come and select the high frequency layer and get the clone stamp tool. Make sure the hardness is set to 0% and make sure the mode is normal, opacity 100%, flat 100%. Make sure a line is selected and the sample is set to current layer. And after doing that, you just want to remove these pimples or blemishes. So just come and to remove these pimples, we hold down the option key on the keyboard and left click on an area near the blemish and simply release the left click button and the option key or the alternate button and paint over the blemish to remove the pimples or the blemishes. So always take your time as you're trying to remove these pimples or blemishes. So let me repeat for you once again. You hold down the option key or the alternate key on the keyboard and make sure the size of the clone stamp tool is bigger than the blemish you want to replace. So you hold down the option key or the alternate key on the keyboard and left click on an area near the blemish and simply release the option key or the alternate key on the keyboard and left click once again over the pimple or the blemish to replace that blemish with clean skin. So that is how you can clean up or remove pimples and skin imperfections from your images. So take your time as you're trying to clean up your images. So I'm just going to stop right there because I don't want the tutorial to be a long one. So you can see before, after that we have been able to achieve. So you can proceed and whiten the eyes by coming to adjustments layer right here and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer come and take the saturation down to around negative 70 press ctrl i or you can use command i on the keyboard zoom into the image and get the brush tool so this time around we are using the normal brush tool the blend mode is normal opacity and flat 100 percent make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches and if at all you have any other random color press d on the keyboard so with white as the front color you can reduce on the size by using the box brackets and paint over the eyes to whiten the eyes. So this is how you can easily 
do skin retouching in Photoshop in just 10 minutes. And if at all you have enjoyed this, simply like this video. And don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and you're not subscribed to this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and see you next more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.